I wanted to make a quick little video on a problem we ran into early on in our trailer life where we went up to a national forest that didn't have any hookups. And obviously when I went to connect our batteries, something must have shorted because I saw a little spark. And then when I went inside the trailer, found out we had no lights and it turns out we had no 12 volt power whatsoever. I know about the converter and that it has your circuit breakers, also has 12 volt connections in there also. I know about the fuses, so I checked fuses and nothing seemed to be blown. Started my generator to kind of see what's going on, and I did have lights when I ran the generator. This was one of the earliest trips we had ever taken in our trailer, so being four hours from home, I was a little bit panicky. While looking on YouTube, I came across one video out of everything that's on YouTube referring to the problem or something similar to what I was having. Nobody had ever told me, I'd never heard before that there is a circuit breaker related to your batteries. That was something new to me. And when I saw that on this video, I thought, well, maybe this is the answer. So I went out, got under the trailer, and sure enough, as he had shown, there is a circuit breaker near your batteries. And this circuit breaker can trip if shorted to protect your electrical system. So I wanna show you what I found, and maybe at some point this can really help you if you ever have something like this happen to you. So now I'm gonna take you under the trailer and show you where that circuit breaker is on my trailer. All right, once under here, this is really close. My battery, my batteries are right here. Right behind here is mounted to J box. This is where all your electrical connections come in. Your battery comes into here and then splits off to go to all your devices in the trailer. Now, the one thing I didn't know about and saw in this video, is there's two little circuit breakers here, one for the negative, one for the positive. And if you look real close, you can see a little black button on these. That is what tripped when I shorted it out. If you ever have this happen to you where your lights will work with the AC power or shore power, but will not work with battery only, this might be your problem. Certainly one of the first things to look at would be your fuses in the circuit breaker panel. But if none of those fuses are blown, this is something to take a look at. Well, hopefully you never have something like this happen to you, but if it does, this might just be the thing to save your trip. So let me know in the comments if you've had anything like this ever happen to you or something similar. So until the next time, happy traveling.